The Keiko News team was flown down to Mexico, Oaxaca to be exact. We're going to be visiting Fortuna Silver San Jose mine. Uh, we're going to take you on a mine tour, so buckle up, get ready, you're going for a ride. The San Jose mine is roughly an hour's ride south of Oaxaca's city center. It is rainy season between July and October in the area, so it does look green now, but it is very arid. So we just arrived at the San Jose mine. Before we're allowed to go in, there is a mandatory medical examination that we need to go through. So I'm going to get checked out and then we're going to take a look. After checkup, we went to the administrative offices where President and CEO Jorge Ganoza brought us up to speed on the company's Trinidad deposit and the new 800 ton per day ball mill startup. We moved on to the newly completed core shack, which was initially off site, to check out Trinidad drill results before suiting up for the underground mine visit. After a brief meeting, we were transported by truck to the San Jose mine, which is a minute, if that, from the core shack and administrative offices. As we entered the mine, we noticed the roads inside are paved with concrete. They're actually better than roads in Montreal. Note how much space there is in the tunnels, not cramped at all. After being given an idea of where we were in the mine, about 150 meters deep, we began looking at high-grade areas of the mine. Uh, tell me about the widths uh, where we're standing right now. We're on level 1350. This is one uh, of our main production levels uh, for 2013. As you can see here, widths of mineralization uh, range uh, up to 20 meters, no? from the 3-4 meters where we're standing right now, up to a broader zone of four, up to 20 meters up there. Uh, mining operations here are fully mechanized, as you can see with the equipment over there. And uh, this is the upper portion of a stock work zone that increases in, in width and grade to depth. A fairly recent discovery for the company is Trinidad North. Trinidad North is uh, the extension of these same veins, the Bonanza vein and the Trinidad vein to the north, the immediate northern extension of this zone. The mineralization is, is, of course, or the style of mineralization is somewhat variable, but you, the main components are hydrothermal breaches, stockwork veinlets, crackle zones, and sheeted vein zones. So in that way, it's very similar. The grades are, are better in Trinidad North, and we have indications that the widths could increase even more than we have here. We had a moment to watch some drilling in the Bonanza vein before workers fill the holes for blasting. They're using an overhand cut and drill mining method here. This is obviously dangerous work, which brings safety to the forefront. Safety is one of the values of the corporations. We decide to support everything, okay? That's how we face the safety procedures. Uh, if we need to do something to, to ensure our, the safety of our workers, we will do. Another element Fortuna looks to in this current industry environment is the possibility of mergers and acquisitions. I think there's been a rationalization in the sector and there's a, you can actually see value in uh, the different projects that are out there right now. There's been a decrease in the, the price that you're having to pay, but that means that there's value. And we've actually performed quite well from the beginning of the year to to date, 10% uh, above the, the uh, return. And our competitors are around 30 to 50% below. So for us, there's an opportunity there to go out on an acquisition stream and start acquiring proper projects, ones that will withstand price shocks. As the underground tour came to an end, we made our way back to the surface, bombarded by natural light. Next up, after a quick bite, Jorge took some time to discuss the current advances at the San Jose mine. Big, uh, big news, big things have, happening, have been happening here. Uh, let's start with uh, the Trinidad discovery. This yes. is uh, something that, uh, that's really been expanding uh, within the, the company during the year. It's, uh, it's becoming huge. Tell us about it. Well, uh, results speak for themselves, right? Uh, we've been publishing results on the Trinidad since the late uh, 2012, and uh, we're expecting the new resource estimate sometime in October. Uh, it's just a high-grade, uh, wide zone of mineralization that we have encountered uh, immediately to the north of uh, production areas. So uh, we're not only excited about what it means in terms of new ounces, uh, high-grade ounces and, and broad zones of mineralizations, as I mentioned, but also uh, because where it is, our ability to incorporate this uh, new zone uh, quickly into our production plants and have a meaningful impact in our production profile you know, uh, within 18, 24 months at a relatively low capex as it is within infrastructure areas into our production. 
Now, sticking with production, uh, last time I was here in March, there was uh, the commissioning of the expansion, 1,800 tons per day. Uh, today, by Friday, we're going to see this 1,800 tons per day in action. So how does that feel? It's finally, it's there. What's well, that's uh, what our chief metallurgist told us today, right? By Friday, so we'll hold, hold him to that. Uh, you know, it's, our team has done uh, an excellent team once again. Our project team, our team here in Oaxaca, have delivered a, an on-time, on-budget project once again. Uh, I think that speaks about our capabilities. And uh, we taken the mine from uh, 1,100 tons per day to the new rate of 1,800 tons per day. The bolt mill's been turning for two days now uh, at a nominal capacity of 1,800, and we expect to achieve full throughput, full nominal capacity uh, this week. No? Uh, sometime next week. I'll give him some leeway. An interesting stat that uh, one of your employees mentioned before was uh, the amount of female workers you have working here. So why don't you tell us a bit about that? 40% of the workforce at the processing facility are female, um, mainly from the community of San Jose, which is our neighboring community here. You know, we are working hand on hand, not only with the local authorities, but also with other uh, groups, and we encourage uh, the formation of associations and small groups. For example, the vests that you're using uh, right now, the vests that we're wearing, are manufactured by a local group of women in the town. You know? And we see them now, as you saw them today, operating the automatization of the plant. Uh, so, you know, we're very satisfied with the way or uh, relationship with the community of San Jose del Progreso and surrounding communities has evolved over time and really the status where we are at today. So that concludes our Fortuna Silver Mine San Jose Mine visit. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to send them to newsfeedback at kiko.com. Also stay tuned, we have another exciting video, a special Mining Minutes wrap up for you coming out next week. And part of it will be the beautiful Monte Alban. Stay tuned.